Have you ever had a complex decision to make and wished you could visualize all the possible paths to proceed? Hi, it's Emily from Team Draw.io, and in this video, we're going to learn how to build decision tree diagrams in Confluence. In accordance with our current Dungeons & Dragons themed campaign, today's decision tree diagram is asking and answering which D&D class should I choose? As you're probably already familiar with the basic principles of flowcharts, let's jump right in. We'll begin with our first shape that asks the question we want to solve. Naturally, this is too broad a question to start with, so let's create a few more question nodes, which will help our adventurer narrow down their choice. Pay attention to where you put text within your connectors and maintain that consistently throughout the entire decision tree. The result will be much more appealing to the eye. If you need to move text once it's already on a connector, select it and drag with the orange diamond. We'll continue to expand further and ask more specific questions. This decision tree is going to have a lot of shapes in it in the end, so make sure that you're using unique shapes and colors per tier. Let's move along to what our decision tree looks like almost completed. As you can see, our green class shapes have all reduced in size and the diagram looks much more organized and attractive. We achieved this by reducing the size of the rounded rectangle shape around the longest word to a size that looked the best. Then we took note of the dimensions of that shape and selected all other rounded rectangle shapes and used those same dimensions. There is also the auto size feature if you'd ever like the shape to adjust its size to fit snug around the text. The nature of decision trees is that you have to reposition some branches from time to time to keep the diagram tidy. Instead of dragging to select all the shapes in a tree that you need to move, simply click the parent shape, click the property drop down in the right column, scroll down and turn on tree moving. Another useful tip to make your diagram look even better is to adjust your connectors start and end points. Just right click on the canvas, Click Select All Edges, and under the Style tab, change Line End and Line Start to 3. This is especially helpful when using non-curved shapes, as it allows for a beautiful consistency throughout all the connectors in the diagram. Decision trees are a classic use case for our diagrams editor, but they are also useful for our whiteboards editor. Just make sure to turn on the grid when you're making complex diagrams such as this one within the whiteboards editor. If you'd like to learn more about decision trees, check out the blog that I've linked down below. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our weekly video uploads. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in your next adventure with diagramming.